I'm reminded of a phrase a wise man once said, insane in the membrane, insane, got no brain. Remember, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want to appreciate Thanks. Today is a video about the apparently crack prawn Mikey Tsundere for me. I honestly don't know. I've seen this guy talk shit about me multiple times after I cut him out of my life, right? But again, it just goes to show how fucking crazy the community is, right? And I want to highlight this dude because it's almost interesting psychologically because it's almost like when you read this guy talk about me throughout the years, he must feel like guilty about lying about me because he still says good things about me sometimes, right? But let's look at this because my CVS2 videos were getting posted again. Because Clayton, Guy is a genuine genius, but Guy also has some disorders. Remember this guy, he, he's also been part of trying to act like I'm crazy, right? I don't think anyone in the world understands fighting games as well as he does. Like, generally, the guy can play a game for an hour and understand it better than people that play for decades. He, like, after I cut this guy out of my life, he goes back and forth. Like, he can't actually only say good things about me. But he knows that it's just the guy is insane. It just is crazy. He kind of stepped back a lot. He went nuts a little. Where did I go nuts? Like he thinks the entire world world is after him and everyone is against him. I've actually proved that even in that recent video, I'm like, is there anyone in the entire FGC that has had the amount of lies made up about me? But this is what I really want to get to. He and I used to be homies. I've only ever met Crack Prime four or five times in my entire life, okay? I don't think we were homies, okay? We knew each other, but we were not homies, right? But then during the whole Rufamonger thing, he started being more outrageous, slaying slurs and stuff. What, what slurs did I say? And I was like, dude, you can't say stuff like that. It's transphobic and stuff. And he went off on me. No. Crackpron, Mikey. I, I find it funny that this guy was actually canceled in the community, but somehow he is allowed to be back in the community even though he was canceled, right? The irony. I unfriended Crack Prawn because he was okay with people saying that I faked dying. And I was like, that is fucked up. And he made up some stories like, oh, well, you know, I don't really know a lot about it, so I don't want to talk about it. So, you know, if people want to lie about you, it's okay. There's nothing transphobic, nothing like that. But Monger, if Crack Pond actually would have fucking looked at anything, and I think that deep down he actually knows, and that's why he says random good things about me. I showed Butt Monger actually encouraged the LGBTQ to lie about me. We showed that. It's recording. He went on Twitter and he was messaging random LGBTQ to I can't even say it. He was randomly randomly messaging random LGBTQ members, encouraging them to lie about me to get popular. We showed that. You can even look at it in discords. LGBTQ members were saying that they were talking to Rufamonger and getting ideas to lie about me, to get popular. That happened. The whole Teen Gohan Discord thing, remember? They made up all that stuff to get me banned. Pretending that I hate gay people would be a good way to get popular. Do you remember they, they made that up? I mean, it's recorded. We just showed the recent fucking Charmander guy, right? Now he has a split personality. He was another guy, part of the discords to get me banned. He Once I showed that all this happened, that they were recorded with Buttmonger and all these other people lying to get me banned, Charmander, do you remember? He's like, oh, you can't talk about that or else I'll have a heart attack. He faked a heart condition and said he would die if you talk about it and say all the evil things his friends did. And so he pretended that I was evil. And if you talk about it, he'll have a heart attack and die. Guess what? It's turned out recently we found out that Charmander, big surprise, his heart condition was fake. Okay. Big <laughs> shocking, right? Also, he has a split personality named Ellie. And now he's a girl. Oh, yeah. Remember Buttmonger with all these LGBTQ people? Sefer? Sefer had seven different, was it, was it six or seven? Seven or six different alter egos that all had a fucking LGBT backstory made up backstory all of where i was evil to them one person made up six or seven different accounts to try to get people to hate me right lily 
tried to say that I harassed her. And when I showed the messages that she was sexually harassing me, All right, remember she ended up getting canceled. So I think it's funny that me calling out the LGBTQ for lying about me, all the fucking crazy shit they've done, but monger who you can see was encouraging LGBTQ members to make up lies about me because it would get them popular. You can see in the discord, they planned to say that Clayton hates gay people and they spread that whole story. And then when they got caught, they're like, oh, you can't talk about this. Hmm. That's, that's me being transphobic. You mean guys like Kono who made up a story that I hate gay people on dust loop. And even the moderators on dust loop said it wasn't true. And they faked everything because they were just being an asshole. They recently admitted that too, that none of it actually happened. Hmm. Do you have anything, proof of anything, fucking crack prom, Mikey? Clayton was claiming his medical issues in the D's of CSF. I don't know if it's true or not. Mikey, who supposedly is one of my homies, homie G's, doesn't know if my health is real. Even though, again, we've met each other four or five times. That, uh, yeah. He knows goddamn well I was fucking dying. You fucking asshole. Anyway. I, I like how, though, you know what I mean? He's like, oh, I think he was a good GGX player. Oh, he's a good at everything player, right? See, this is why you can tell. I think this guy, he knows deep down that what he did was fucked up. That he was okay with all these people lying about me. And, I mean, that's the only thing I, I, I can think. that. But he was like, oh, well, I got to still pretend that Clayton's an asshole and he must have done something, right? It's just, aren't his medical conditions, you know, it's just crazy. And all the, for this, though, in fact, didn't he get really good at various games because of his illnesses? I, I've always said this before. I've never played that many fucking fighting games. Not like practice like other people, right? But I had to teach myself how to be able to look at a game. You know what I mean? Because I had surgery on my hands. can't use my hands a lot. You know, so I had to be able to teach myself how to look at a game and get good at it, right? Anyway. It's just, I just see this guy, and every time I see this guy post, even in, like, say, James Chen, oh, you're one of the most important people ever in the entire fighting game history, then Mikey is in the fucking James Chen chat with butt monger stories and all this kind of stuff, and he's like, oh, yeah, we well, you know, yeah, butt monger did stuff to Clayton, but, you know, Clayton, he's, you know, evil and crazy and all this kind of stuff. Like, what? Are you, are you? So anyway, let's just, let's just do this again. We'll show this again. I got nothing to fucking hide. <laughs> Let's go here. People can't believe my, my fucking health is real. This is a health record. Okay. Let's see. Can we see Clayton? My name is Clayton. Believe it or not, <laughs> I didn't fake my name. Sorry, I didn't fake my name, FGC. I know you want to believe. Let's go to the menu. Medical and family history. Hmm. Asthma, GRD, sleep apnea, Hashimoto's, migraine, or carpal tunnel, all this stuff. Man, children's cancer. You know, look at all this stuff. Lupus, cluster headaches. The most painful condition known to man, some doctors say. Like I said, I had one recently. It took me 14 hours before I could even walk again. Crohn's disease. C. diff, which I was dying from before. Listen. And it's funny that, you know, I remember when I showed my record that people were like, oh, God, this can't be real. This would mean you're one of the sickest people ever, blah, blah, blah. Fucking people acting like I, I hacked my health record. Listen. Why is there so much shit there? Because I've been sick since I've been young. Now, unfortunately, when I did all this fucking radiation, I'm one of those unlucky people that it fucking set off a bomb in my body and I developed all these fucking autoimmune diseases after it. Now I've been in and out of the hospital my entire life. I've been dying before. Wow. I mean, do, do you want these? I mean, this, it's crazy. And even in that motherfucker's own comments, he's like, oh, well, actually, you know, Clayton never did, you know ask for sympathy or, you know, ask for money from anybody. So, wow, yeah, shocking. I didn't. Maybe I should. How about this, motherfucker? Because you, you are still lying about, give me fucking money. The, the, apparently, 
Health is not real unless you ask the community for money. Give me money. How about some motherfucker just help me pay for my insurance for a few months? You guys can support Marn, even though Marn fucks the community, scams the community. Yeah. I mean, being sick is not fun. You have no idea. Do you know what it's like to go through what some doctors say is the most painful condition known to man? Again, I had one recently. It took me 14 hours to walk in, dude. They've used me in medical presentations for it. So, you know, this is why I say, dude, I, I, you know, and you can look at me in the face. I don't give a fuck if any of you guys died. Motherfuckers, I never got anything for being sick. Give me fucking money. How about, apparently health isn't real unless you take money from the community. So I dare you, I dare the FGC to actually help me with some of my medical bills. Oh, you don't want to? I said this before, no one, there, there's no one in the community that would help the community like I have while I've been sick, in and out of the hospital, life or death situations, right? The community has joked about leaving me for dead, stealing myself at tournaments when I collapsed. I've been at tournaments with tears coming down my eyes, right? I'd be like, oh, Clayton's crying. He's a crybaby, right? Because I was in so much fucking pain. I would go to tournaments after radiation. Well, why did I always wear those khakis? Because I had to carry it around a garbage bag in my fucking pocket for when I would get sick. And I still fucking won tournaments. I still help the community. Would you do that? I, obviously, you fucking wouldn't. You, you can't, you, people don't even think it's fucking real. Like, it's not fun. Yes, I know. It, it, it sucks. Trust me. It's not like it's not fun. You know, just absolutely fucking disgusting people. And like I said, I think the crack prawn thing is a, uh, it, it's psychologically interesting because to me, it's almost like this guy knows that, whoa, I knew Clayton when he was young, right? You know, I knew Clayton when he was wearing the hat, hairs coming out and all this kind of shit. And I knew people lied about him, but oh God, you know, I have to be holier than thou because if you recall, when I unfriended crack prawn. I unfriended him about right around the time that he was hardcore virtual, virtual signaling and he was trying to get Mr. Wizard canceled. And then it came out that, oh, yeah, I'm a degenerate myself, <laughs> right? And then he got canceled. But, you know, oh, Clayton, I can't believe you would say the LGBTQ harasses you. You can't say anything bad about them. What? I, I can't call out people that have lied about me. Unless I have sex with somebody, that means I, I hate gay people. Crack, crack, prawn. How about this? And I can post this and crack, prawn. You know, I still have this image. Do you remember the very first time me and you? I think it was the first. It was either the first time or second time we met. And you were like a, a DDR guy, and you had some kind of uh, beef with Kenji. And do you remember? And I, I've never told this story. I don't think because it's just not really super related to fighting games. But they had like a DDR beef or some shit like that, and. You got to remember back in the day, and I've showed this before, I was friends with the gay community in the FGC because people thought I was gay because I was so friendly with them, which is even crazier. So, Crack Brown, you think that I hate transgender and all these kind of people, the LGBTQ? Do you remember that you joked you wanted me to draw a picture of you and Kenji naked together? I still got that fucking picture, motherfucker, and I can post it if you want me to. And you remember Kenji was so, oh, God, don't post that. What if someone actually thinks I'm gay? Do you remember that? I still got that fucking picture, motherfucker, and I can post it. <laughs> Seriously. So I just remember that because Kenji, holier than thou Kenji, right? Kenji's a good-looking guy, and he's good at games. and But Kenji, very, very two-faced person, right? But Kenji, even though people are saying, Kenji could not stand the fact that someone might think he's gay. But me and Crack Prime, we made gay jokes and all this kind of stuff because we were very, just whatever. Like, who cares if you're gay, right? But I guess Crack Prime probably doesn't want people to remember that, that you know, it's just whatever. And, and to say on the subject of Crack Prime, like I said, I knew nothing about all the shit he got canceled for. To my knowledge, I know he had like a drinking problem because I remember him, I think he even told me. And I think he even, was he living with Watson for a while or something? I know he had a drinking problem, but something like that. But I had no idea about the cancel stuff. And I unfriended him because, yeah, he was cool with people lying about me and joking about me dying. He was cool with the LGBTQ 
sexually harassing me because I did not want to have sex with some of their members like Lily, who I didn't even know was transgender at the time. And remember, Lily's friends had fake friends that they then pretended themselves to be transgender to say that I hated them too. And it turned out they weren't even transgender in the first place. Sefer and all these people that supposedly I harassed as well, it was actually just all of Sefer's alter egos. And isn't it crazy that Buttmonger, you can look at the threads on Twitter, he encouraged them to lie about me. You can look on Discord, Harry and all these guys admitted that they were private messaging Buttmonger trying to expose this, trying to get this whole thing started. Whoa, it's recorded. It's there. Yes, I have talked shit about that fucking insane in the membrane. Insane got no brain. Overly radical LGBTQ motherfuckers. Apparently like yourself. I don't give a fuck if you die, Mikey. I don't give a fuck if any of your friends die. To be honest, I would prefer that you get as sick as I have been throughout my life. So you can see what it's actually like to suffer. To see what it's like to be dying in a hospital. And then your homie is okay with people lying about you <clears throat> while you're dying in the hospital. And have gone through what I've gone through. And even then, it would not equal what I have gone through. Because I still help the community in a way that you know as well, because I'm the biggest genius the scene has ever had. I'm good at all every game. No one would ever do what I've done for the fucking fighting game community and deal with the harassment that I have. And then I got fucking weirdos. I didn't, even, I didn't even mention Dennis. Motherfucker, how old is Dennis now? Is Dennis almost 50? I don't fucking know. Motherfucker's still obsessed with me because I didn't want to have sex with him. I mean, what, what is this fucking dude's problem? I'm not gay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. So yeah, I got a pretty crazy health record because guess what? Unfortunately, my doctors fucked me up with all that radiation when I was younger and now I've had permanent side effects from it. Just like that fucking C. diff I've had permanent side effects from it. It's not fucking fun. You motherfuckers deserve whatever happens to you. Anyway. Remember if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share. Support the channel if you want. Appreciate it. Thanks. The end.